A Scottsdale mother sentenced to more than a decade in prison after her baby died from ingesting fentanyl. Sadly, this isn't all that rare. We're taking a look at how often this happens. It's a drug where one pill can kill. And the death and poisoning of kids with fentanyl is on the rise. Over the last, actually, I'd say two to three years, we have seen an increase specifically with um, children under the age of five uh, getting into fentanyl. A judge just sentenced a Scottsdale mother to 11 and a half years in prison. She pleaded guilty to second degree murder and child abuse after her 13 month old baby ingested fentanyl and died. That's a pretty high standard. They have to show that the defendant in that case acted with complete reckless disregard for human life. In 2022, Gabrielle Marshall admitted to police her son got into her opiates. Drug paraphernalia was also found throughout the home. Cases surrounding fentanyl in general are on the rise, according to criminal defense attorney Andrew Markintel. A lot of this fentanyl that's coming across the border is cut with other substances. And because of the unsafe conditions, we have seen a rise in all manner of uh, cases resulting in deaths surrounding fentanyl. ABC 15 has reported on several cases in the last year where parents were arrested for their kids ingesting fentanyl. The rise in calls to the Banner Poison and Drug Information Center for kids ingesting fentanyl has skyrocketed. You can see how many calls they've received over the years since 2017, but it's slightly getting better. We're kind of seeing that kind of plateau and hopefully we'll start to see that go down more. Um, but again, the concern is, is that fentanyl is still in homes and um, extremely dangerous, especially to young children. In order to keep kids safe, make sure any medication or potentially hazardous items are out of reach. And in the case of opioids, have Narcan just in case. I'm Melanie Dow, ABC 15, Arizona.